up everybody welcome back to the channel today is a beautiful day in new york it is about 55 degrees out sunny clear as could be no snow in sight which in our world is actually a good thing i know for you guys you want to see some snow removal videos but i'm okay with it not snowing right now i'm sure we will get plenty of snow in the next couple months but anyway moving on today i have this truck warming up i have to pull it outside and then i'm gonna work on this plow a little bit it is sold but i have a couple parts i need to put on i have this cover here which just goes on right there there's this little gasket ring that goes with it and then i have headlights for it that we are throwing on there so I need to pull this out, give myself a little bit of room to work. This truck should be good to go. Yep, it, you can tell because it's not beeping when it's building up air. There will be a light, I think like right here, that'll say uh, like low air or something like that. And it beeps until your tanks are full. So we are good to go now. Look, this is saying, this is saying 49 as the air temperature, which this is pretty cool to have in here. You have air temp and I believe this lower number is your road temp. So that would be the concrete below us right now. But either way, it is extremely nice out. Let's pull this thing out of here and get us some space for work. bigger trucks so with plows on here sometimes you got to put a strap on it and pull the wing plow up even tighter than it'll go by itself we're just gonna park it right here next to the loader crank windows but oh he's on this side on this one there we go I love that. turn our power off as you can tell we are backed right up to the curb and we got a nice little walkway right here. This is why I wanted to slide over a bit so we can sneak by right here. All right guys, so moving on to this pump cover. It is pretty straightforward. You have one side that has like a little bump out for right here. And basically all you do is you lift up this rubber piece, put that in there, 
this rubber piece comes back down and holds in the top. And then the bottom, you just gotta get this on the outside, that on the outside, hold your wire up. Voila, that's on. The last part for that is you have this, uh, this retainer ring, which on the bottom here, I'll show you real quick. On the bottom, there's a spot for it right here. That'll do it. So now you have your pump completely covered again. You can see the, the ring right there. And now we move on to the headlights. These are obviously pretty straightforward. You have, you have two bolts on it, which go in these holes. I'm gonna throw a time lapse on real quick and get these on here. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it. It was pretty straightforward here. You have one harness that goes to both headlights and you have a plug down here which goes into your truck. The only thing I had to look up on the instructions was which side goes to which headlight. They say the shorter one goes to the driver's side, longer one goes to the passenger side. So we did that. All I have to do now is zip tie this to here, keep it nice and clean. This will get plugged in to this little cover. That's what both of these are for. It's just like, it's like storage. It's like a little storage section in there. Come on. One in there. The other one will go in there. So that's how you can store it when you're not using it. Otherwise, they both get plugged in. But I'm gonna run some zip ties on here, which they give you. Get this all cleaned up. And then I'm gonna go grab lunch and see what the rest of the day has in store. All right, so moving on, we have this Fisher plow here. I've spoken about this in a past video. It's this plow and that pump is an extra one. This pump and that pump are both leaking. So we have one truck parked outside that this fits on. It has a different plow on it. So I'm gonna go start it up, let it warm up, bring it down here, leave that plow probably right here and throw that plow on it. Our supervisor is gonna bring it to the Fisher guy on Monday. So we're gonna leave it here and it'll be set up for him. He can come and grab it whenever he wants. But let me grab the key and then I will get that truck in here. All right guys, so this is the truck that we're gonna put it on. Side note real quick, we have this liquid system set up for it, but actually I shouldn't use the word set up. We have this liquid system on it, but we're not quite sure how to set it up. We bought this from a guy out of Pennsylvania somewhere and it comes with a round speed control. So it's like a magnet that you put on your roof and it basically, reads the speed that you're going and it releases either more or less liquid depending on if you're going fast or slow and 
I'm not exactly sure how it works. So if anybody knows what I'm talking about and knows how this works, leave me a message or a comment and maybe we can figure it out together and get this thing actually working. Because we're considering just sending it to a on and off switch and no speed control at all. I'm just letting it dump and then you don't want to use it, just flip the switch off. But anyway, moving on, let's get this plow off of here and throw the other one on. All right guys, so nothing is working. Everything wants to power angle. So, hopping back in here. We're gonna lift the plow up. Oh, propane might help. Propane might help. So we're gonna lift the plow up and just chain it up so he can drive it there. And hopefully they have a floor jack or a forklift or something there that they'll be able to unload it with because it's going to be in the air with no way to put it down since we're chaining it up tight. And obviously with it up in the air, there's no way to, no way to take it off the truck. Actually, you probably you probably could get away with it and then just letting it fall if you uh, put the little leg down and then disconnect everything and back out. It'll probably it'll probably come off, but it'll fall, and obviously you don't want to do that. Grab our, grab our little bolt. What do you want me to try and just go under it? No. Here, let me try it. Here, hold this. Let me put this camera right here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try and just lift it, see what happens. If I can get the forks under there, it'll be good. I can't read your mind.
All right, so since the pump is not working, we lifted it up and moved the chain in there so that way when it's all the way down, it's still in the air. This bolt is what Rodrigo did because this lift system, obviously you can tell one side is a little loose, but it was much looser there. So he shortened it up and got it to fit. But that is gonna wrap it up for this one. We are gonna get ready to get cleaned up soon. Rodrigo's changing the blade on our bandsaw. But I'm gonna park that outside. I got the other pump I gotta throw in the passenger seat. That'll get dropped off Monday. And I think that is it. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace.